The very last video I put out was a top 10 list of the worst states in the union for gun owners. Unfortunately, that video was sanctioned by Screwtube, who plastered me with the dreaded yellow banner marking the video as unsuitable, and so it was hit with the usual restrictions. I imagine that this video will suffer a similar fate for my having the nerve to talk about firearms. But I said I would do a follow-up video showcasing some of the best pro-gun states in America, and so here we go, counting backwards to number one. We'll start with number 10, Missouri. Missouri is now a constitutional carry state, so no permits for carrying, opened or concealed. There is no requirement to register firearms or obtain a purchase permit, and school employees are allowed to carry firearms on school property. Number nine, Georgia. No license is needed in Georgia to carry a firearm in a person's home, vehicle, place of business while fishing or hunting, or unloaded in a case. Open carry is permitted as well as concealed carry. However, it still requires a license, which is not too difficult to obtain. Georgia recognizes stand your ground. Number eight, Texas. Texas has a shall issue permit status for anyone over the age of 18. There is no regulation for firearm ownership throughout the state. Open carry is permitted. Texas does recognize stand your ground, but is iffy on castle doctrine. However, I would watch Texas as they have been getting really funny about picking up people who are open carrying recently. They may be swapping places with Missouri. Number seven, North Dakota. North Dakota requires no permits for carrying, although it does still have some restrictions as to where your weapon can be carried. North Dakota acknowledges castle doctrine, but is kind of iffy on stand your ground. Number six, Utah. Utah's gun laws are very easy to get along with. However, a permit is still required for carrying a concealed firearm, although open carry is perfectly fine. And Utah does allow for stand your ground. Number five, Montana. Montana's gun laws are very relaxed and runs on an unrestricted shall issue policy. Concealed carry without a permit is legal if you are outside of a town or city and engaged in the following activities, logging, mining, railroading, camping, fishing, hunting, hiking, farming, or backpacking and they do have stand your ground laws. Take this one with a grain of salt, however, as Governor Steve Bullock has been vetoing pro-gun legislation to try to make it a constitutional carry state. Number four, Oklahoma. Oklahoma is one of the few places that allows firearms on public transit. Carry permits are fairly easy for residents to obtain and they have attempted to go full constitutional carry this year, but Governor Fallon vetoed it literally a few days ago. Keep that in mind if you're living in Oklahoma. Oklahoma does have stand your ground laws. Number three, Kansas. Kansas has recently opened its arms to gun owners by eliminating the need for a permit to carry, which is a huge change from when I lived there a few years ago. So with permitless carry, carrying in public buildings and college campuses, Kansas has moved up high on the list. Kansas also has strong castle doctrine and stand your ground protections and offers civil immunity for people who have to use firearms in self-defense against criminals. Number two, Alaska. Alaska has some of the most permissive laws in the nation. Actually, I'm surprised this one isn't number one. Any person in the state who can legally own a firearm can carry it and conceal it if they wish. Alaska does have stand your ground laws. And number one is kind of surprising to me because they do have a huge issue with police brutality. Arizona. Arizona, which allows anyone over the age of 18 to open carry and anyone over the age of 21 to conceal with no permits required. Additionally, there are no background checks required. Arizona recognizes stand your ground. Okay, although it's hard to improve upon this list, within the continental U.S., 
I've got one more for you, an honorable mention, if you will. Call it number zero. Tennessee. Tennessee has no requirement for purchase, approval, or registration of firearms. The state does issue carry permits to residents on a shall-issue basis. One of the main reasons Tennessee is added to this list is primarily due to Governor Haslam signing a bill that allows citizens to sue cities that violate their rights with arbitrary free gun zones, and Tennessee does recognize Stand Your Ground. And all of the states on this list, by the way, are fairly open-minded about not restricting too many different types of firearms, as that has become so popular in America recently. Keep in mind that no matter how good the gun laws are in your state, any gun law is still a violation of the Second Amendment. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you happen to live in one of these states, good for you. But don't take your rights lightly. Politicians don't see them as rights. They see them as privileges, which means they could at any time try to snatch them away from you and will likely get away with it if you don't stand up for yourselves. If you have anything you would like to add to the commentary, please feel free to post it in the comments section down below. A good resource for gun laws is GunsToCarry.com if you'd like to do some further research. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Show your support by checking out some of the other content. As I pointed out, this video, because I talked about firearms, is going to be hit by ScrewTube. If you are interested, you can also find me on another channel called Coffee Talk. I'll put a link to it down below. If you would like to help out this channel, there are links for that down below as well. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. So that being said, stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.